All right, time now for the Investment Committee to answer some of your questions. Everybody ready? Let's go. First up, Bill down in Georgia asks, what are your feelings about NXPI, Jim? Is it a buy, sell, or hold? Yeah, this is definitely a buy here. Um, I would have said that even before this week's decline, which is apparently based on some large insider sales. I don't pay too much attention to that. Um, however, what you've got here is a company that has about half of its business supplying automotive chips. We know those are in high demand. Prices are high. We know that demand for autos is pent up, so the good business for NXPI should continue for the coming quarters, plural, well into 2022. Uh, this is an excellent semiconductor. Uh, company to own right now. Okay, next up, Sammy in Massachusetts asks Degas, all right, I've been holding PWR, Quanta Services, big infrastructure play, since December of 2020, I've had great returns. Should I hold or trim power at this level, Degas? Well, we'll definitely hold it because what, what you're seeing today uh, is that uh, Quanta Services announced the acquisition of Batner Holdings. At for about 2.7 billion, that will be a creed of something Pete was talking about instantly onto their balance sheet. So we really like uh, Quantum's uh, power at this level, and so we would hold it and get ready for the ride because it's up very strong today. All right, for Tiffany now, Cynthia in Pennsylvania wants to know: Is Shopify overpriced? So I guess it depends on who you talk to. Um, so they had a strong uh, last quarter. You know, growth overall for them has been really strong. Revenue in the previous quarter was up 57% from the year before. Also, their repeat revenue was up over 60% 60, 60 from, from the year before. Um, they're adding new merchants every day. And they just really have this turnkey solution for web design, even kind of integrating pictures for, for businesses, it just makes it really, really easy. So I definitely see some growth um, there. They, they're they also integrating with Facebook and then also doing a partnership with TikTok. So um, if you own it, I would hold it, um, but I would look to buy on the dip here, but I, de I definitely see good things going forward. All right, and Brian in Illinois writing in for Josh. Any new thoughts on Uber? This was everyone's reopened darling and has now turned into Lazarus. Nice reference there, Brian. Josh, what do you think? Uh, I don't think there's anything new. They had a great earnings report. The stock's, the stock's acting okay. I'm not sure about Lazarus. Um, I'm, I'm long as an investment. I've been for a while. I, I got a chance to buy some really cheap stock during the height of the pandemic last year. Uh, so I, I think on an average cost basis, I'm doing okay. But I think the best is yet to come. So I think it is a long-term story, and, and I would stick with it.